What's up guys, welcome to Blake's Garage. So today I'm gonna to be doing an oil change on the Birdie 30. Big day today, or actually tomorrow, because we're gonna be doing an autocross event. So this is actually the first like kind of shakedown autocross event that I've done in the car. And if you guys see back there, you kind of see seats in it, cages in it. Let's go ahead and open up the hood on this bad boy. I'm gonna get it jacked up since it's so damn low. Oh yeah, oil filter, I'm using this man filter. This is a, a German filter right here. And it's got, it's got all that goodness, all that German goodness and some German juice. So let's crack this thing open, get the oil changed. Also, I got two of these, so I'm not sure how much we're gonna use, but I think I'm gonna use more than one of these. The car all jacked up. I'm gonna go ahead and get down underneath here. You can see right here, here's the uh, the stock drain plug. Now, that kind of is set up for your fingers, so that's actually kind of cool. Or I think it's set up for your finger. I don't know. I'm going to have to try to get it off of there. See if I can't untwist it by hand. Oh my god, it's tight. It's a tight one. Okay, let's get some pliers on that bad boy. Ah! Nope. A lot harder than I would have thought to get off. Okay, there we go. I have to say... It's freaking tight, but now we can drain out all the old oil. I don't even know what that's all about. Is that a cord that like hangs onto it? I don't know. First time I've ever changed the oil on this car. So I don't know what's up with that, but I guess that's normal, huh? All the darkness, all the nasty oilness. It's like the oil drain valve right there. And if you could see, there's like a little, it's like a threaded piece in there, like a screw. Can't really show it all that awful well, but if you see right up in there, there's like a threaded piece. And I imagine there's some sort of like hooky thing in there where it goes in, click one way, and then it expands. And that way it doesn't come out. That kind of makes sense. This finger action makes sense to you guys. Click, click. That's the whole kind of like barbed, bam. That's what I'm imagining is there. I mean, you guys can see, I've already used that squid, skid plate quite a bit of times so for people that say your car's not low well it's low enough to scrape shit this many times so yeah uh low enough to scrape so on a little bit more researching of that oil drain plug that actually looks like someone retrofitted that it kind of has like an o-ring on the inside and it smashes against i don't know if the threads are stripped out on my oil pan or something or someone just liked the look of that i'm not sure but uh that's what they put on there and then I took out the oil filter in the car and man that thing was a beezer to uh to take out of there like this is my favorite tool for removing oil filters right here it's kind of like a channel lock for oil filters and then it has different sizes but I mean I was squeezing all that thing bam it's freaking just like <laughs> completely bending it and it wasn't going nowhere so I got up underneath the car got really close to it and was able to squeeze the hell out of it and it was not on there like hand tight i'm not talking two full turns past or something i'm talking like freaking torqued on there or something man i think it was a pain in the butt but now we're gonna put in this nice german oil here in this race car here uh so this is some fully synthetic specifications it's got the good stuff you know it's the 10 w50 it's the racing sport ester oil. It's some good stuff. You know, look at that. I mean, come on. It's got a shiny thing. I mean, it's got to be good if it's got a shiny thing. And it's made in Germany. And this is a German car. So you can't really beat that. Also, I always love, like, the oil spouts on these things. Motul also has a nice uh, oil spout. But this one's cool. It just kind of peels out. And then you got... Look at that, some fanciness. You can look down in there and it pours really nicely and kind of like funnelless. You don't really need a funnel. Plus the way this uh, does this is it kind of gets a little bit of air in there for the most part and then you're good. You don't have a lot of like this backsplash and all that crap. So I'm gonna go ahead and top off the oil filter real quick. So now this oil filter actually sits in the car sideways like this on the M20 motor. It's not upside down. So I'm not gonna be able to totally fill this up However, I am gonna put a bit of oil in it. That way, I get it primed up and basically ready to go 
in the engine. I'm gonna go ahead and screw that into the car. Got that nice motorsports fluids going on here. These guys actually shipped out really fast, so that was nice. So I was able to get this quickly. That way I could change the oil on this car. Now I'm gonna try this. It's probably a bad idea. We'll try it out. See if I uh, can't not spill it everywhere. That's working out good. Now what I like about these big ones is you're able to just kind of read on the side here about what's going on so you can actually kind of see the see the numbers happening. So we got one and a half right now down it and out of five. So I'm gonna put a few of those in and then we'll uh, we'll check it after a minute here. Start the car up real quick. Wipe this bad boy down. Make sure I didn't get any excess oil anywhere, anything like that. We're all set and ready to go for the first autocross. Got the Sparco Evo in there. I'll look back here, all welded in, ready to go. Gotta get this all painted up soon because it's looking a little raw, but that's okay. Just sealed up the sunroof again because I had it kind of um, out for a minute while the dude was welding up the roll cage. So I had to go ahead and reseal this up with some black silicone. But that turned out real nice, it looks good. Can't really tell, it really blends together well. Put some more oil. And it should just top it right off. Just a wee bit more. All right, one last check of the oil. We should be autocross worthy for tomorrow. Let's check it out. Oh my gosh, it's right on the money. Except for the fact that I dropped all over the stuff. But yeah, it is perfect, right at the line. Perfect, love it, yeah, good, good to go. Race car life, let's do this. Well, awesome guys, I cannot wait to test out this car out at the autocross, it's gonna be super fun. Um, really, I've only gotten to rip it around on the roads a little bit, and I really haven't ripped on it too awful hard, which is kind of why there's still tires left on it, so. Let's go out in the rain tomorrow on the R888Rs. R888R obviously stands for rain. <laughs> Not really. Stands for uh, for race status. Well, it's R888R, but they are R compound, so like race compound. 100 tread wear tire. Definitely not made for the rain. However, they are pretty grippy in the rain besides standing water. Giant puddles, eh, not so much, but besides that, they actually have pretty good grip. So we'll see how that goes. Thanks a ton again to Motorsports Fluid for sending me out that oil. That stuff's awesome. Can't wait to uh, rip around in this thing a bit with that fresh oil change. Anyways, guys, talk to you soon. Later. This Wrench on.